Hello, today I want to show you how I've created this little canvas using my fabric embroidery panels. Today I'm going to make a little canvas and I'm going to use my fabric panels for it. So to begin, I've got a small canvas here and I'm just going to put some paint on that. I'm just using um, an acrylic paint, so any acrylic paint will do. You could always use um, an emulsion, something like that. Uh, yeah, you can see, you don't need to be careful over this. You really are just laying some colour down on that. I do want the edges covered as well. I'm a little bit mad on the paint there. Might have a bit too much, but it can certainly spread, won't it? There we go. Got too much paint on that one. Never mind. Well, perhaps a little bit extra texture on this one. I've also got a little canvas here, and I'm actually going to put a little bit of paint around that. It shouldn't show, but it's just to get rid of that stark whiteness in case anything does show in the end. And I really don't want that whiteness. And we've also got a little bit of snip art here. So let's just get some paint on there. I've just chosen a little branch. Now you could use a die cut for this. Um, that would be rather nice. You could also maybe use a branch from a garden. An actual real tree branch would be rather nice. So I think I'll just get rid of some of the extra texture I've put on there. And we're going to leave that to dry. So let me put that out of the way. Now whilst we're getting messy I do want um, a little bit of ribbon dyed so I've got some of my art tape here and I'm going to use a bit of orange on there and um, a little bit of a blue colour on there also. some water on there and let's get this in there I'm just putting some colour on there a little bit of green going on where they've mixed that's okay a little bit more orange on there not quite like that I like this is um a sort of a, a beige off-white natural colour tape so I quite like that to show through as well because I think that's merging in quite well and again I'm just going to put that to one side and allow that to dry so let's get rid of that right so on to the little canvas now mine's still wet because you've just seen that so I'm just going to bring one in that I've already got and this is one of the fabric panels. It's just an off cut, as you can see. These panels are really rather large and you've currently got um, a choice of a lavender. This is the cow parsley. You've got um, a leaves and you've also got a wild rose design. And you can embroider these. You can add a uh, pencil onto these fabric pens. So really, really versatile. So all I'm gonna do for this is I'm just gonna choose a little bit of the design that I like. So actually, I quite like that design. I'm going to place my little canvas on there and then just draw around it fairly roughly. So now I know the area that I'm going to use. Now, I've actually embroidered the piece I wanted to use today, but um, I couldn't really sit and embroider it else it would be here for quite some time. So you can see there that I've got my embroidered piece. Now, I've added a little bit of interfacing on to keep it stable because you can see that this fabric does fray and, and I've cut it to the size of my little canvas there so that's what I'm going to use so we will pop that out of the way and then what I want to do is actually attach that canvas uh, the fabric to my canvas so I've got one here that I'll use because the paint's still drying on the other one and I'm just going to attach that, I think, with a little bit of matte medium will do the job. There we go. I'm 
going for the more is more look today, I think. That's a lot of glue. But it's not going anywhere, is it? There we go. And let's pop that canvas on there. Okay. And that'll dry and be quite secure. Now, we used that um, ribbon, we inked that ribbon. I've got a little bit here that I've inked and it's already been allowed to dry. And I, I like the idea of just placing it around this canvas because again, it just gives a little bit of extra detail, a little bit of extra texture, which I really want on my canvas. So again, I'm gonna add some of the matte medium on this. I'm gonna put some on the sides, that could do with the, can you believe that could do with a bit more there? Make sure we catch that top in as well. If it hangs free a little bit, it really doesn't matter. And I think we'll start there. And we'll just place that on. Now let's just, yep, yeah, happy with that. And work our way around again. There we go. And place that down. And this will take some time to dry and that's fine. Really doesn't matter. And place that one on. It's really versatile this art tape. It takes paint and inks really, really well. And I'm using it for something else which you'll see in a moment. So let's just bring that round. Come down a little bit. Sit down there. Put a little bit more there because it's standing a bit proud. Sit down there. Go. And I'm just going to take the edge off of that. And pop a little bit more glue there. So that's going to sit and attach for a while. Let's wipe my hands on that one as well. So let me just put my matte medium out of the way and I said that other things for this art tape so I've got a lovely 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 typewriter here and you can see that what I've done is I've just attached the tape. I've used a tape pen to attach it. You could use uh, maybe some not too strong double-sided tape and it's just then so that you can type a little message on that and I've got memories on there so I've typed one of those up and I'm about ready to put my design together so um, that one's drying I've got one here that's actually I've painted before and is drying so I'll get my little canvas and that's going to go on there. Other things that I've collected that I want to use on here. Uh, I've collected just a little bit of paper ephemera. I've no idea where this came from, but I quite liked it. So, and I liked the colours. So I think I might sort of took her little shepherdess under there. And I've got a little clock here. Um, says it's uh, seven, five to seven. Okay. I quite like the idea of that. So I'm liking that I'm getting the texture from the fabric, from the ribbon, and then I've got the paper there, I've got the canvas here as well. I've also got some flowers here. Now these are joined together, I don't want them joined together. So let's get rid of the stalks. Now I did consider painting these flowers to match the canvas, but then I liked the orange, so I've picked the orange colour up in my embroidery here. Um, on the embroidery, all I've done is backstitch, straight stitch, and a few French knots. So really, really simple. Uh, I've got a little twisty thing on there. I don't want that either. Let's get rid of that. So I'm gonna arrange these how I see fit. No, two there. Okay. 
I'm quite happy with that. I've got a little gem here. Now I've chosen this one because it's got that sort of turquoise shine to it and in my little shepherdess's dress she's got that sort of blue in there as well so that's going to go in there kind of somewhere and then I've got my snip art which is still a little bit wet but actually it doesn't really matter it'll dry really really quickly and that's going to go on there to give it some texture as well yeah I'm quite happy actually with that arrangement I think I'm going to go with that I've also got my little memories and I've got a little bit of metal a uh, little metal frame there I think that's going to look really sweet on there isn't it okay time to put it together so working from the back let's get this matte medium out again and let's just pop a little bit under my shepherdess I'm not worried about having it everywhere if it falls loose good that's fine that's a little bit of movement I'm perfectly happy with that and let's have a little bit behind the clock now because I'm using the matte medium it's not an instant dry it means that I've got a little bit of wiggle room there so if actually when I've got my arrangement on I want to move it around a little bit I can do that that's perfectly okay my canvas is going to go on there too and again this will take a few minutes to dry it might even take a few hours but that's okay because when it does dry it'll be nice and secure and I know that I can then trust it not to fall to pieces so I'm gonna pop that don't want it to hit a centre line really at all I think we might go with it there at the moment perhaps bring that down around ever so slightly okay yep uh, sniff art which again is a little bit wet still but that's okay it'll dry in situ let's pop some on that I'm going to pop a little bit more on the frondy bits because I really don't want these to get caught up ideally and yeah I think we'll, we're going to go for that let's pop that in this excess will dry I'm not worried about that at all let's get my flowers on again good dollar for that let's have these nice and secure and a bit more there and the larger one here if you don't have any paper flowers that match your design or the right colors or then put your put your background paint on them and really merge them in it's going to look great oops drop that one and let's get a bit on this little gem here we're going to tuck that in there I'm going to leave that excess to dry and we've got the frame now so let's get the word on first perhaps not quite so much glue for this one I'm not entirely sure whether typewriter ink is uh, colour fast or not so let's pop that on now if you were making this as a gift for someone you could perhaps put their name in there or you could put greeting, you know, birthday or anniversary whatever is appropriate and then let's get some of this on the frame as well and when I say some I mean masses the front and let's just place that over and these just happen to fit this tape perfectly so I'm really really pleased with that I'm liking that I think the only thing I'm going to add to that now um, is some micro beads now micro beads are super little tiny Beads, but they add lots and lots of texture what they will do is they'll cling to any of this excess glue I'm going to pop a little bit more in there as well to give them something to cling to so I quite like the idea of them heading up the side of my snip art maybe over the top I don't know if that'll hold over the top or not let's have some in this little hollow here would look really great um, and again anywhere really 
doesn't matter. Maybe we'll have a few that will cling to the flowers itself. Quite like that idea. Certainly underneath here as well, sort of pouring down. Let's put plenty on there, I'd quite like quite a few in there. Um, a little bit maybe under here again. Now of course we can add extras of these, should we wish. Let's just pop some under there as well I think. When it's dry so don't worry if it, it's quite difficult to see where they're going to end up. Um, I'm just going to use a tray actually underneath to preserve a few of them that go a bit wayward and then all I'm going to do is pour some on and I can collect any extras in the tray. Over those flowers we had some on this side. There we go. And I'm going to give that quite a hefty tap. And you see just how many excess are staying in there. I should probably be finding them on my desk quite some time. Yeah, happy with that. And now we've got our little canvas. Find somewhere to put those. Um, I hope you enjoy that. I hope you make it. I hope you enjoy using your fabric panels. Just a little scrap to make something a little bit different and maybe some of the stuff out of your stash as well. Let me know how you get on. <laughs>